What is your why? Why did you even get out of bed this morning? What did you eat? Why did you eat it? Why are you wearing what you're wearing or maybe not wearing this morning? Well, we want to answer some of the whys in your life. We want to maybe even answer the hows and the whats. That's why the uh, Rise and Thrive with the OSJ Radio Hour is on the airwaves now. We've been 24 years in print with the Oklahoma Senior Journal Magazine, and we have probably around 6,000 local resources in our magazine. And we are at 650 locations, and we want to constantly bring you information that helps you age well in our city. I have some exciting guests in here this morning that bring you services that will help you age well or will actually get you involved with those that maybe don't have anybody that they can depend on in their lives. Um, First, I have the president and CEO of New View, Oklahoma, Lauren Branch, who has been with New View, Oklahoma, was formerly the Oklahoma League for the Blind, and she has been the CEO for the last 20 years. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you here this morning. I'm really glad to be here. I, g- go ahead. Oh, no, it always <laughs> catches me a little when you say 20 years. I don't feel that, <laughs> I don't feel that old. Yes, you don't look one day over 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, thanks, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing we're on radio. <laughs> I love it. Um, And who else is in the studio this morning is Toby Rogers. He is one of the better halves of Roger and Terry. um, I'm sorry, Terry and Roger. um, Rogers with the uh, help me, Terry. I mean, (laughs) Toby, now I'm all flubbed up. And and Toby (laughs) Rogers with Rogers Market Promotions. Glad to be here this morning. (laughs) (laughs) I got a little tongue tied. Maybe it was too much coffee or something. Um, But Terry and Toby are doing the uh, 50 plus better living expo at the Cox Convention Center, September the 16th. They will. uh, It's free admission, free parking. So you can't get much better than free people. Uh, New View, Oklahoma, will also be at this expo, and they're going to be, we'll be talking a little bit about what some of the things they'll be bringing you. I uh, did want everyone out there to know that the reason the Oklahoma Senior Journal wanted to go from a magazine to being on air is that way you can literally meet some of the people that we have in the Oklahoma Senior Journal. Uh, New View, Oklahoma has a two-page spread in this issue, and they'll be in our next issue as well. New View, Oklahoma, I have been there, hmm, I think it's been four times now. I've had lunch every time I've gone. I've had fantastic tours, and um, I've learned things about New View, Oklahoma, that there's absolutely no way you can know unless you go have a tour there. And Lauren, I commend what New View, Oklahoma does in Oklahoma City. Well, I appreciate that. (laughs) I think we do a good thing. You really, really do. Um, You know, and I wanted to ask you, when did they go from, uh, just right off the bat this morning, when did you go from Oklahoma League of the Blind to New View, Oklahoma? Well, it it was a name change that we did in 2009. We actually did it in conjunction with our 60th anniversary, the organization. But, you know, we just, um, the scope of services had changed over the years. The organization had changed over the years. And we really wanted um, a name that that could evolve with the right. organization and, and really could add some, some new energy, new brand. And so we made the decision to make the change. Okay. Well, um, something that I actually ask um, when I was on one of the tours is, you know, how many people are actually blind? It's a it's a low amount that where they're just have no sight at all. Is that correct? Yeah. So um, so in Oklahoma, there are about 50,000 people who would be considered blind by definition. But only between two and three percent of those have of those individuals have no vision at all. So total blindness is very, very low incidence. So most Mm -hmm. people, most people who are blind have some usable vision. Yes. And that's what I understood. And I didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. So um, the majority of the world is a low vision, you know, that have vision issues. Right. And so, so low vision encompasses more than people who are, are legally blind. I mean, there are a number of people that are affected with low vision. And let me just say, I think it's important to understand what low vision is. Mm-hmm. Low vision is uncorrectable vision loss. Oh. So it, it, so your vision cannot be corrected by medication, 
surgery glasses and and that vision has declined to the extent that it impacts your ability to do your day-to-day activities and so we have a, a number of people across the state who who have low vision and and are struggling with low vision issues absolutely and that ranges from every age it doesn't have to be someone that is you know over 50. oh absolutely not now um i mean our organization serves birth to you know to old you know yes all the way up all the way up but i will say that the majority of people who are struggling with low vision and and vision loss are seniors. I mean, you know, things like macular degeneration are the uh, leading cause of of blindness amongst people over the age of 55. So that that really is where the concentration of Mm -hmm. individuals struggling with this are. Right. Um, Well, we are going to take a break here. But before we do, I just would like you to give out your phone number and website, but we're going to come back and continue to talk about this. So our phone number is 405 232-4644 232-4644 and our website you can find us at newviewoklahoma.org that's newviewoklahoma.org and that phone number again is 232-4644 okay wonderful and we'll come back with lauren and talk a little bit more a little bit more about New View, and we're going to talk more about the whys and the hows and the whats on We Can Help You Age Well in Oklahoma City. Uh, Rod Stewart's going to play us off with a little Forever Young. This is KZLS 1640, The Eagle AM. Glad to have you this morning. The Oklahoma City 50 Plus Better Living Expo coming September 16th is a tremendous opportunity for businesses and agencies to get up close and personal with thousands of regional seniors, baby boomers, and family members. In addition to meeting this audience face-to-face, the OKC 50 Plus Better Living Expo is also a perfect networking opportunity to meet and exchange information with over 150 other businesses that provide products and services to this all-important demographic. For exhibit information, visit rmpshows.com or call 405-605-2121. Hello, this is Robin Gunn with the Oklahoma Senior Journal. And something we have that no other senior resource has in Oklahoma is we have an app. On that app, we have every one of our issues for 24 years. We have events. We have a car finder, which literally you put a pin in it and it walks you back to your car. We have all these radio shows, and then we have a button that says more that literally takes you to videos and a myriad of other 15 things. Now, let me tell you how to download this onto your smartphone. It is easy. Go to, like just like you're going to do a text where it says the word two, just type in these numbers, 95577, just one time, type in 95577, and then in the message of your text, write this, OK Senior, just like it's all one word, OK Senior, OK, S-E-N-I-O-R, then hit send and you will immediately get a text back that has a link. You touch that link and it automatically downloads to your phone. How easy can that be? By doing that, you have now brought yourself into being informed all the time in your hip pocket, in your purse. You will know what is going on with the 50 plus in Oklahoma City. Aging is not for sissies, so let the Oklahoma Senior Journal bring you the app right on your phone. Thank you. Charlotte Carey, Administrator with Synergy Home Care. Are you seeing a lot of changes with your seniors? Mom can't keep up with her housework? Dad is forgetting his medicine? Or Grandma is falling? The effect of your aging parents can no longer be ignored. Don't worry. Synergy Home Care is here to help. We offer a wide range of services from hourly companion care to round-the-clock compassionate care. We can help mom with meal preparation, drive dad to meet his friends, and even help grandma shower. Call Synergy Home Care now at 405-254-3046 to schedule a free in-home assessment. RRN will customize a care plan to give you the peace of mind that your parents are getting the care they need. Call Synergy Home Care 
at 405-254-3046. Hello, we're back with uh, Lauren Branch from uh, New View, Oklahoma. She's the CEO. Lauren also was nominated and um, was one of, through the Journal Records, Oklahoma City's most admired CEO in 2014 and 17. And in her free time, Lauren (laughs) is married, has six children and three grandchildren. There. Yeah, there I, I and one her, on the way. <laughs> we are. We are. Look at yeah. you. Yeah. I um, asked her if she had an S on her chest but for Superwoman, and she said, well, only a few have seen it. So, yes. <laughs> so we want to get right back in to New View, Oklahoma, and we were talking about how very there, it's a small amount of people that are actually legally blind where they can't see or any, totally blind. or totally blind sorry right. i just wanted you to be able to explain some of the differences in that and then how new view oklahoma helps these individuals i understand you employ 150 people at new view oklahoma we do you know for me to talk about that i need to just explain a little bit about some of the things that new view does okay. and so We are the only private agency in the state that provides specialized services for people who are losing their vision or lost their vision. And so we've got, you know, and you're familiar with it, our our low vision and vision rehabilitation clinics. But we also are the largest employer of people who are blind in the state of Oklahoma. And so when you talk about us employing 150 individuals, we provide job opportunities for people who are blind also, which is um, which is kind of unique. I mean, an agency right. like ours, which, you know, really fulfills, you know, a number of different needs across the spectrum for people who are losing their vision or lost their vision. Right. And, uh, and so, um, you know, the people that we serve through our employment programs are people who buy, you know, who are legally blind. Um, but with our low vision clinic and vision rehabilitation services, we, we really serve across the spectrum. We work with people who are totally blind. We work with people who are legally blind. And we work with people who haven't quite reached that blindness threshold because we know that when someone starts losing their vision and it's, and it's permanent vision lost, they start having issues long before they are considered legally blind. I mean, they, they may have issues, you know, start having issues with, um, well, the, like they shouldn't be driving, um, having issues with um, reading small print, you know, uh, safety issues in their homes. I mean, things that really affect their quality of life. And so the earlier that we can start seeing someone who is struggling with low vision, the better their outcomes are going to be. And so we really encourage, you know, people who are struggling with vision loss, their, their family members and their doctors to identify and refer early. Yes, um, it's and you very work important. With a lot of doctors. We do. We across the state of Oklahoma, we have over 500 physicians that refer their patients in for services in our clinic. Um, so yes, I mean we we are getting the word out, and um, and the outcomes that we get speak for themselves. Absolutely, I've even heard testimonials at many of your fundraisers where people come and talk about what the you know they lived in depression mm-hmm. until New View came in and literally were a hero for them. Um, I mean, it's something that you can even notice in your own family is, you know, mother may have been a a immaculate house cleaner and all of a sudden you're noticing, hmm, yeah, there's missing some obvious things. Right. Or, um, you know, some things that we see with our seniors, if you, you know, start seeing, I don't know, bumps on their heads or, I mean, you would be surprised at. Um, trips and falls, yes. you know, those types of things that, you know, people think, oh, well, they're, you know, they're just getting old. Well, you know what, you really need to be thinking maybe there's something going on with their vision because, you know, for a number of seniors, I, I mean, some of, they're just afraid to tell people that they're struggling because, you know, they, they don't know that there are resources out there to help them. They're worried that their family members are going to intervene in a way that, that they don't want that type of intervention and, you know, I'm thinking, you know, assisted living or, or nursing home care. And there's no reason that that someone who is, is just experiencing vision loss with, with no other issues 
should have to go down that path and unless they want to unless it's it's their choice right and they like you said they're a little bit afraid that their freedoms are going to be taken away but if they yeah. don't address what the vision loss is um I, wh- some of the things well, tell me some of the things because i've seen some of the things that you can do that would actually bring people's independence back to them they're not going to lose it you're going to enhance them well, to have it yeah absolutely so so once we know what their condition is once they have a, a low vision exam i mean our therapists go into their homes they they look at they look at lighting they look at magnification they do safety assessments they assess the individuals, you know, doing things around their home, they talk to them, they develop a relationship with them and learn what they're doing and what they're not doing. You know, for example, I mean, someone who's, you know, who gets their joy out of sewing, right? I mean, then they're not sewing anymore. So we can, we can work with them to, to sew, to do their, to do their other activities. I mean, if they like to cook, they may have given up cooking, we can get them cooking again. Um, just going out into the community, you know, being able to go to church or go to the grocery store or, you know, go have lunch with friends. I mean, those are things that we see people giving up and giving up pretty early on. You know, and and the thing is, sometimes individuals, you talked about the depression and the isolation, you know, sometimes the vision loss is gradual. And, and they give up things gradually. And so sometimes they don't even recognize what they've given up until it's gone. That's and, right. And, you know, because it can happen, it can happen very slowly. And so, like I said, I can't emphasize enough, you know, getting in early, not getting to the point that you're giving up the things that they love. I mean, the things that you love. I mean, it really is, you know, our services are really about quality of life and empowerment and whatever it is that you want to do whatever it is that makes you happy and gives you joy and and fulfills you then we want to work with you to ensure that you can continue doing those things and that's exactly what you do you find out what gives someone joy and you say okay we're going to work on that and how i'm i even saw you know you're talking about the sewing you have these big plates they almost look like a square plate right and they can see perfectly down in there, and it magnifies it. Right. It, it magnifies. We have, you know, can teach someone how to use self-threading needles. We can mm. teach them different techniques to use the vision that they have. I couldn't tell you how many times, especially with someone with macular degeneration, that that they've given up reading, given up doing anything that, that has anything to do with, with fine, you know, fine detail, central vision. Um, they come into our... Uh, our office we get an assessment we work with them on lighting and magnification and they're reading print again huh I I mean, love it, it. it's amazing and you I, know they're smiling from elbow to elbow i think yeah. it's a miracle i mean yes. it, it's <laughs> they do oh my gosh uh-huh. it's a miracle and there's even something i saw with the computer that you can enhance the size of we can use <clears throat> we can use screen magnification we can use contrast which is which is a huge deal and we can even use voiceover Okay. You know, so, and we can teach you how to use all of those things. You and know, you, do, do you charge for this? So we, we are um, an, a Medicare provider. Okay. So it's covered, you know, a lot of the services are covered under Medicare. Some of them aren't. The ones that aren't, we don't charge for. So we're not going to deny services to anybody. We want oh, to get, that. we want to get you in and we want to get you what you need. Hmm. That's so great, Lauren. Um, well, I want to be able to give out your website and your phone number again. You have an 800 number that if you're anywhere in the state of Oklahoma. Yes. Yes. So let me give you our, our toll-free number. It's 855-811-9699. And our website, again, is newviewoklahoma.org. I know it's long, but you <laughs> it's know, spell just all it like out. It's one word. Spell it out, newviewoklahoma.org. Yeah, that's O-R-G on the end. Yes. And give that 800 number one more time. 855-811-9699. Okay. Now, we do have a short amount of time before we're going to go to break, but I just want to touch on this. Talk a little bit about how who you employ. Who are the people that could actually come and get a job through New View Oklahoma? 
Well, so um, so anybody who is um, who is legally blind, okay. I mean, you can come down. I mean, if you're interested in working, we you know we work with you. We'll train you. Um, we we generally have job opportunities open. So if you're legally blind, a working age adult, and you're looking for employment, please seek us out. There's some things that New View Oklahoma's um, their uh, people that work for you. They make things that none of us knew that they make. One is fire hoses. We're the sole <laughs> supplier of fire hoses for the U.S. Forest Service. And so, you know, right Love now it. we're watching, you know, all these fires burn in the in the western United States. All of those hoses are made by people who are blind right here in Oklahoma City. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> we're going to be taking a break. This is Robin Gunn with um, KZLS, the Eagle 1640, Oklahoma City and Enid. We're so glad you're with us this morning. We're going to come back and hear a little bit more from uh, Lauren Branch with New View, Oklahoma. Then we're also going to go over there and talk to Toby Rogers with the 50 plus better living expo that's coming up in September. Thank you all for listening in. Hello, it's Robin Gunn back. Uh, we all stay forever young in our mind, and having services like New View Oklahoma definitely keeps us back out there and being able to be a part of our independence and be a part of our family without having, you know, just a loss of, oh my word, I'm just now I have to go foot, put one foot in the grave because I'm having issues with my vision. I've literally seen New View, Oklahoma do miracles for people. And um, during the break, it's where we always get to talk about neat things. And uh, Lauren brought up a sweet couple that um, is in their newsletter. And if you want to get New View's newsletter, how would you go about doing that? You can go on our website and okay. you can send us a note and we'll add you to our mailing list. Good or deal. you can call us. I mean, yes, you know, either, way. You, either way, you can call us and and the newsletters, uh, the newsletters are great. I mean, we put they a are. lot of a lot of really good information in there that you can use. So, And if you're somebody out there that maybe isn't, you know, experiencing any low vision, but you just want to donate to New View Oklahoma, that is how New View is able to keep these services in front of people, correct? It is, and I appreciate you saying that because Absolutely. It, it is important. Um, we rely on donations and the generosity of our community to enable us to provide these services. There you go. So if you're even a business owner and you haven't really, you know, uh, we really want to give back to the community. New View, Oklahoma, I'm telling you from my um, personal testimony that New View, Oklahoma is definitely somebody that actually helps, helps, helps people. And um, let me give you uh, their website again so you can go to their website. It's newviewoklahoma.org, O-R-G. And um, just write, th there's places there that you can go to make donations or get involved, correct? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Well, so let's talk a little bit about this nice little couple that's in your newsletter. Yeah, so when yeah, when we were on break, I wanted to mention, so we, we highlighted a, a couple that we've been working with out in Norman. And the reason that I want to talk about this is because something happened to him that people don't normally associate with vision loss, but it's very common. This gentleman um, from Noble went in for surgery. He had um, had a kidney surgery, and during the surgery, he suffered a stroke. Okay. And the stroke resulted in him losing his vision. And so he literally came out of the surgery with no vision. Now he's gotten a little bit of vision back, but but not a lot. And so we've been working with him for a while to get him and his wife back on their feet again cuz it I mean it she's the uh, caregiver. caregiver. I mean, so mm -hmm. it's important for her to be involved in this too. But all of that to say that that we work with stroke patients and you don't normally associate stroke with vision loss, but it happens way more often than what you would think. And so I wanted to throw that out there because, you know, we're not just talking about macular degeneration or diabetic retinopathy. We talk about 
you know, accident and injury. We, we work with people with stroke, traumatic brain injury Mm -hmm. causes vision loss. And so, um, so it's very important for people to understand and know that also. If we didn't have a new view Oklahoma, what would someone do? Well, um, a lot of, a lot, a lot of people go, a lot of people go without, I mean, they, they really don't know that the services are available and they lose hope. And Mm -hmm. like you said, they, um, you know, when we see people that they may have been sitting at home Mm -hmm. literally for years, I mean, and I'm not exaggerating. And so we can find them isolated. We can find them depressed. Um, which is why I say again, you know, the earlier, the earlier you seek out resources and the earlier that you get help, the better off you're going to be. And we all have to admit, we don't know what's out there until it happens to us. Um, you don't know. And um, when New View Oklahoma is able to provide professional resources that, that have been researched for years and years and years. And um, what did you say? You've been around at 60 years? We, uh, well, almost 70. Wow. We. <laughs> Good. We've That's been in our community though. since 1949. 49, okay. And you were the League of the Blind. Now your New View, Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. So it's the same outfit, just has a new name, which encompasses to me... The League of the Blind, I always thought you had to be blind, and I know that's what you were getting, too. Right, right. And that was one of the reasons why we changed our name, too, mm-hmm. is that people who need needed our services and would benefit from our services would not seek us out right. for services. Because, you know, even... You know, even someone who has some usable vision and and by definition would be blind, you know, they would say, well, I'm I'm not blind. I can I still have some vision. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we go, well, OK, <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> please don't get behind the wheel of a car. <laughs> yeah, no, I, well, I know, really. And so it is. So anyway, and, and because of most most of the people who we do serve are our seniors, most of them have been cited their entire life and so when they don't identify with being blind and so we wanted something we wanted a name that that would enable us to reach out and to and brand ourselves Mm -hmm. and and also I wanted something uplifting I mean I think I think it offers some hope me too I agree Lauren and um so we have we're going to well one other thing I wanted to bring up besides the fire hoses there's something else that you guys make and it has to do with like blocks or it does so we are also the sole supplier of aircraft wheel chalks for the military (laughs) so those blocks yeah so those blocks that go under the wheels that keep the airplanes from rolling when Uh they're parked we make those we we make the wooden ones and we make the composite ones and you know, we're doing some new things now, too. We uh, we have a machine shop, and so okay. we have people who are visually impaired that are certified in precision machining, so we can make automotive parts. We can make all different kinds of things. I mean, we're pretty excited you about the things. You guys are full that circle is what you are we at are. the new view. We are. Um, well, we also wanted to bring in Toby Rogers. He is the brainchild, him and his brother, behind the uh, 50 Plus Better Living Expo that will be here September the 16th. Cox Convention Center, free admission, free parking. And um, Toby, um, New View Oklahoma is going to be at this. Absolutely. They're going to be there and they're going to have a presentation at 10 a.m. in Hall B. Okay. They have a lot of good information if you've been listening. Yes, they do. And some of the things that I know New View Oklahoma wants to be able to do is meet the people out there that maybe are a little, have a little reserve. And maybe, well, I know I'm, mom's probably having some eye issues and I can't really get through to her on it. This is a perfect time for you to bring mom and dad out to meet the people at New View, to meet other resources. Oh, that's right, Robin. Exactly. And, and just like uh, Lauren was saying a while ago, some people do not seek them out even though they need the help. Mm-hmm. And so and what we're trying to do is provide a venue where the caregivers, uh, the children or, you know, the caregiver uh, of the uh, person who does need the help that just can't quite bring themselves to go and find it. We can educate them, put them in front of everybody that they will need to see. There you go. And, you know, uh, something I've said before, we do a great job in bringing resources through the Oklahoma Senior Journal, but this is the opportunity to actually go press the flesh of somebody out there that... Face to y- face. There you go. Mm-hmm. That... 
you know, you don't normally have that opportunity. I mean, I know New View. I mean, when you heard about this expo, what did you think, Lauren? Well, we signed up right away. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> right away. <laughs> right away. I mean, it's, you know what? It, it's important. I mean, it's important for us to be out there. It's important for us to talk. It's important for them to see that it's not. I mean, it's this isn't scary stuff. You know, no. and that there are resources available and that we can be helpful. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we're trying to do. There, there's many, many uh, paths you can get information through. And we're going to be another one of those. We're going to bring everybody in. Like we had said, it's free parking. It's free admission. You can come right in and speak face to face and ask the questions and get the answers you've been looking for. And that, that may, just makes it... I want to call it vital information. Uh, I had my brother the other day go, Robin, it's like vitamin information. I go, it is because it just, <laughs> it encompasses all parts of your body. And if you don't have, um, we've said this several times, a plan, a plan, people, please get a plan. We plan to go to dinner. Why aren't we planning how to age well? And aging well has a lot of aspects that come with it. One is your vision and also um, New View Oklahoma can help you even get back into society and that's something that this expo's main purpose is is we don't want you sitting at home vegging there's absolutely no reason for that there's too many resources in our city and we're going to put them all under one roof at the Cox Convention Center and through that you will be able to see the resources that are out there without without you can actually meet them and say you know, here's what I'm experiencing, or here's what I'm seeing mom experience, or here's what I'm seeing dad experience. What do you guys, you know, you're an expert, Lauren, and um, the others at New View, Oklahoma. (laughs) She's like, I am? I'm an expert? Yeah, I think I said earlier, yeah, if you want to know something, don't ask the CEO. So at the the expo, our our trained, qualified staff are going to be there to answer questions, to be able to give presentations and talk about tips and tricks and and show devices and all of those yes. kinds of things. They have you know. lots of devices. They also have a card you can look through, and it has all levels of uh, low vision. And that card, to me, was an eye-opener. So um, New View Oklahoma, let me give that website one more time. It's newviewoklahoma.org, all like it's one word. And the phone number is 855-811-9699. Thank you so much, Lauren. I appreciate you being here this morning with me. And we're going to take a break and be back with Toby Rogers on more on the Expo. This is KZLS, the Eagle, 1640 AM. Hello, Oklahoma. If you or someone you know has an aging loved one and need guidance and information to properly care for that person, then the Oklahoma City 50 Plus Better Living Expo is for you. The Oklahoma City 50 Plus Better Living Expo is jam-packed full of vital information for the 50 plus community with over 200 exhibitors available and ready to assist you and over 20 hours of seminars ranging from home health care and estate planning to Medicare. Join us at this free event September 16th at the Cox Convention Center. Doors open at 8. This is Robin Gunn, the publisher and editor of the Oklahoma Senior Journal for the last 24 years. And the reason we want to come to you now through our radio waves is we want to be able to hit all markets we possibly can to keep the 50 plus informed. This is something that has been a passion of the Oklahoma Senior Journal for a little over 25 years. We started this because my mother was a caregiver to her mother, and that's how the Oklahoma Senior Journal was born. And through that, I have been able to meet hundreds, literally thousands of people And I have got a lot of stories that I'm going to be able to bring to you live and some recorded, but mostly just out there. So you will be able to stay informed with inspirational stories or even thinking about a Blue Ribbon senior. We just want you to have inspiration behind how we navigate our lives after 50. Aging is not for sissies. But as long as you stay informed and people have walked the walk before you, then the Oklahoma Senior Journal wants to be able to present that to you. Thank you so much for allowing us to stay in your lives and keep you informed at the Oklahoma Senior Journal. Hi, this is Charlotte Carey, Administrator with Synergy Home Care. Are you seeing a lot of changes with your seniors? Mom can't keep up with her housework? Dad is forgetting his medicine or grandma is falling? 
the effect of your aging parents can no longer be ignored. Don't worry, Synergy Home Care is here to help. We offer a wide range of services from hourly companion care to round-the-clock compassionate care. We can help mom with meal preparation, drive dad to meet his friends, and even help grandma shower. Call Synergy Home Care now at 405-254-3046 to schedule a free in-home assessment. RRN will customize a care plan to give you the peace of mind that your parents are getting the care they need. Call Synergy Home Care at 405-254-3046. Hi, this is Maggie Darcy. I'm the Education Director for the Central Ojai Center of Healthy Aging on the OU Health Science Center campus. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about OHI, the Oklahoma Healthy Aging Initiative. We offer health and wellness programs for seniors, caregivers, and healthcare professionals. Our informative workshops are available to assist Oklahomans manage their health as they age. With a variety of classes offered and resources online, we are improving the health of Oklahomans statewide. We serve all 77 counties in our state. If you'd like more information about our classes or a class schedule in your community, please contact us by calling our toll-free number at 855-227-5928 or going to our webpage at www.ohai.org. We're coming at you, Forever Young, here on the Rise and Thrive with OSJ Radio Hour. And we've been answering a few whys, whats, and hows out there for aging well in our community here in Oklahoma. Um, I have just solely now in the studio is Toby Rogers. He is with the 50 Plus Better Living Expo. Him and his brother were literally f- thrown into a crisis with uh, Terry's uh, stepfather, Joe Kelly, who was a prominent pilot here in Oklahoma City. And he began to have, as we all do, aging issues. And you can turn a blind eye to it. You can try. You can try to ignore it. It just, you can try. But <laughs> it's going to keep rearing up its ugly head. And they finally both said, we're going to have to do something for Joe, we are going to have to start navigating this aging process. So through that, it actually did, you know, how a lot of times something negative can turn into something positive. Well, that's what happened. And so um, Terry and Toby Rogers began to research what it would be like to actually bring a large, one of the largest, if not the largest expos that Oklahoma City has ever seen called the OKC 50 plus better living expo they now have a myriad of uh, companies and services that have come aboard like uh, lauren branch said they immediately signed up they didn't have to think about it and if you're a uh, business out there that just loves servicing the 50 plus maybe you don't necessarily work with the 50 plus but you love servicing them and you are an honest wonderful company that doesn't target seniors as uh, you know somebody that you want to try to be make them be a victim and get their money we want companies like that at this expo and so toby who are some of the people that's already come aboard i know we have nonprofits as well as profit companies oh absolutely and thanks again ron for having me here sure yeah we have so many uh exhibitors and that are connected to the uh senior community here in oklahoma city and as you know most of our uh population a good part of it are seniors over 50. yes and uh there are more than uh, a couple of us here at the show also (laughs) yep (laughs) so it fits right in but yeah we have programs um and presentations that'll be at the show um just like with the vision uh that we just had uh before me we uh are going to have vision there to be spoke about we're going to have hearing coverage we're going to have uh, Miracle Air. They'll be there doing hearing tests, helping everybody along with that. We're going to have reverse mortgages uh, for our American uh, Advisors Group. It's going to be there speaking about that. Uh, Becky Ivins, Movers Real Estate. She'll be there also talking about downsizing and uh, moving from one home to another. There's going to be so much going on, so much information for everybody. And like we said, again, it's going to be free, free admission, free parking, 
You just have to show up downtown, get yourself inside, and then you can just speak to everybody that's going to be there. Right. And you've got Oklahoma Healthy Aging Initiative, OHI. Mm-hmm. OHI will be there. What are they? They're doing a seminar, Toby. What is that? I think it's healthy. They are going to be the, doing a uh, Healthy Brain, Healthy Mind, Mind. seminar. Uh, they're going to be speaking about that and just bringing everything into um, into focus for people that have issues for that. Um, we have uh, need for the caregivers. Mm-hmm. Our caregivers need to come. Yes. Our seniors, they show up. They always do, and they look at all this information. But the person sometimes is going to be making the decision. It's the caregiver. That's right. It's the son. It's the daughter. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be there in that position. So you need to show. You need to come. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is really an ideal um expo for the caregiver it couldn't be more ideal i mean it's literally going to answer questions for you we have spoken about that in depth you know and and like you said earlier we plan for dinner and Mm -hmm. we plan our trips and we plan for christmas but you don't always plan for an aging parent that's right you know it's coming you just usually choose not to yeah and you can't do that you can't ignore it and you do it but you can't no no it will be thrust <laughs> upon you just just like we had spoken about before with uh, mr kelly mm-hmm. uh, my brother's uh, father-in-law um, we were going down the path and all of a sudden here we are and it is an abyss mm-hmm. if you are not prepared and you don't know what you're looking for and what to expect it's tough if yes. it's a tough road so, and I love that you turned this inside out, Toby, and your brother Terry, to something positive that now you're bringing resources to. I mean, you actually met a lot of these professionals that will oh, be absolutely. at the expo. Oh, absolutely. As we went down our, our path and in, in trying to find help for uh, Mr. Kelly, um, we ran into everybody. Um, you know, we were looking at the uh, the independent care and then the assisted living care and then the memory care and and everything that comes along with that. Mm -hmm. And um, as a lot of your guests that have been on the show prior to this, you know, they they really tell you that there's a long road to travel, um, including getting even the respite we'd spoke about with the caregivers, giving them a break. Mm -hmm. Um, So we went down our path and we were looking at who we were running into and what information we were seeking. And we compiled that and we invited everyone to come and be a part of the show and bring their presentations and bring that information that we came up about and that we had found and it was all explained to us and it's it's the light at the end of the tunnel no is it ever oh absolutely and you have to have that so as soon as we could see uh the information and we had it in our hands we started putting this together Hmm. and it's been a couple of years uh moving down this way and then here we are today I'm so glad it's here. And Toby, let's see, if you want to be a vendor at this or you just want to come, there are uh, in, in, um, implements that you can do in order to do that. So what is your website? Now, if you want to go to the website, that's rmpshows.com. Again, that's rmpshows.com. Or if you just want to call in and, and speak to somebody in person, that's 605-2121. And uh, we'll answer the phone. You'll talk to uh, uh, someone there. They'll get you to Terry or I, and then we'll uh, get you involved. Uh, we have room for the exhibitors. Uh, we still do have plenty of room, although it's filling up quickly. Yes. Um, we have over 24 hours of presentations. They're going to be given on multiple topics. So uh, that is very, very tight. If you're wanting to do a presentation and speak to the public, if you're an exhibitor and want to do that, then we need to speak to you quickly. ASAP. Okay, I'm going to give out that website one more time. It's rmpshows.com, rmpshows, all like it's one word, dot com. The phone number is 405-605-2121. This is Robin Gunn with the Oklahoma Senior Journal Magazine, and we are going to be right back and wrap up this show that has been so fantastic with new view oklahoma and we'll be talking to terry rogers a little bit more about the breakout sessions and his name is toby rogers (laughs) this is kzls 1640 a.m the eagle oklahoma city and enid hello we 
are back for our final little segment on the Rise and Thrive OSJ Radio Hour. We were just talking to Toby Rogers about the OKC 50 Plus Better Living Expo that will be Saturday, September the 16th at the Cox Convention Center. Free, 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 free. Free parking, free admission. Uh, That'll be from 8 to 5 on September the 16th. So, Toby, you were going to talk to us a little bit maybe about the breakout sessions. Right, right. We'd, uh, we'd invited all the exhibitors, of course, to show up and, and do their part for the community. But I wanted to speak to the attendees, for those who want to come and get the information. Now, on the business end of it here, we have all the presentations that you want to know. Um, we've got, like I said, reverse mortgages, downsizing, estate planning, AARP will be there with their fraud and scam presentations. We're going to have State Farm. We're going to have Grand Tapestry with their assisted living. So many, so many people that you will want to meet and that you will want to know and ask questions to. Now, on the lighter side, what we want everyone to know is we are going to have some entertainment there. We're going to have some local singers. We'll have some musicians in there in between all the presentations doing their part to to help keep everybody happy while they're there and entertained. (laughs) We're going to have the Oklahoma Blood Institute in, and they are having a blood drive. Okay. Now, if you come down to the show, we are going to have a giveaway or a chance. If you give blood, you'll have a chance to win OSU Big 12 tickets. Woohoo! That's right. And Go Pokes. Um, some uh, OU signed uh, footballs. Mm-hmm. And we'll, so we'll have those there, and that'll be for everyone to come down and have a part of. Also, all of our exhibitors will be bringing, uh, of course, discounts and coupons. You know, a lot of free stuff for everybody who's coming down to uh, to join in with the fun. There's also going to be a bingo card that you'll go around from table to table and That's get right. stamped. That's right. That's right. When you come into the door, the attendees will get a bingo card, and it'll have logos and uh, booth numbers on it. So as you go along and uh, meet and greet the people, they will stamp your card, and at the end of your uh, tour, you can come back and drop it off, and then we'll enter you for more door prizes. So I want to give out the website one more time. Toby, what is that website? Website is rm shows.com rmpshows.com and the phone number is 605-2121 if you want to meet the largest demographic in oklahoma city you need to be at this expo so give terry or toby a phone call and get yourself involved in the 50 plus better living expo this is robin gunn with the oklahoma senior journal thank you for listening to us this morning we love coming before you to bring you the resources to age well And uh, this is KZLS 1640, The Eagle. We're out, but we'll be back next week. Thank you.